Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the latest and the most comprehensive breakdown of the biggest news stories in Western Visayas here in Banai News Tonight. Despite the threat of COVID-19, the world-famous Dinagyang Festival of Iliila City will push through next year. The 2021 edition of the festival, however, will be virtual according to Mayor Jerry Trenas. The Iliila Festival Foundation Incorporated has been conducting virtual meetings the past few months on how to continue the tradition in honor of Senor Santo Niño the safest and most economical way possible. IFFI President Jarbert Peña Florida said they have already submitted their recommendations to Trenas yesterday. The IFFI and Iliila City government will announce the activities of Dinagyang 2021 on Friday Day, November 13. Fire struck Barangay San Pedro Molo Ilila City this Wednesday morning. Five houses were totally gutted and six others were damaged. According to City Fire Marshal Senior Inspector Jesus Valenzuela, the blaze started from the house of Gloria Hotes around 9.15 after a generator set exploded. Here's the list of owners whose houses were damaged. Valenzuela said the initial estimate of the fire's damage was 280,000 pesos. Personnel of the Bureau of Fire Protection declared fire out around 10.50 a.m. They were still investigating the incident. Some learners in Sagay City, Negros Occidental receive vegetables after completing their self-learning modules. This is a way to ensure that they are nourished while learning amid the COVID-19 pandemic. The Sagay City Ecozone National High School in Barangay Paraiso has initiated Module Mo Vegisco program to encourage parents to assist their children in distance learning. The school rewards a parent or learner a bag of fresh vegetables when he or she returns a completed module. The vegetables come from the school's Gulayanse Escuelahan, being maintained by the parents of themselves under the Adapt a School Gulayan project. Among the vegetables being given away are eggplants, pechay, string beans, okra, and tomatoes. And those were tonight's latest headlines. This is Panay News, the number one digital and printed news in the region. Don't forget to always wear face masks and face shields, sanitize your hands and observe proper physical distancing. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, Western Visayas. See you again tomorrow evening.